Hello there. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial of how to download all of your wonderful vacation photos and memories after your Walt Disney World vacation if you have added on the Memory Maker photo package as part of your travel package. You'll want to be on a computer and you'll want to log into your My Disney Experience account and scroll down to My Photos. Again, you want to be on a computer, not on the app, because you will have lots of photos and they're going to actually bucket these into compressed zip files for you. Now, when you first get shot over to the Disney Photo Pass site from there, you'll see some of your pictures are down here below. You'll see options here for info. You can view gallery of all your pictures. You can check out some of the photo products they have, mugs, Christmas ornaments, things like that you can purchase if you want. You don't need to link photos if you have Memory Maker. It's already linked. The only time you need to link photos is if you do not have Memory Maker and you've been utilizing a PhotoPass card and you need to enter in that number from the card. Um, but here we don't. We've been using our Magic Band to take photos in the parks. You can see all the great photos here. It will show the newest first, but you can go in and sort that from newest to oldest or oldest. You can show if you wanna see photos of who you're linked to or only yours. And you can also sort them by park. So if you know you wanna search for that one you took in front of the castle, you would just do Magic Kingdom here. So lots of ways to filter. Now what's missing? There's no way to download. How do I download? Is there a button to download everything? This is the question most clients have. And there is a way to download everything. You can actually pay extra. It's $34.95 to purchase this USB. If you'd like to do that and not worry about the download, that's in addition to your Memory Maker cost. This is an extra product. But if you'd like to download yourself, it's very easy to do. All you need to do is click on a photo in the upper right-hand corner where this little checkbox is. I'll scroll down and click on a couple of pictures here. So I've selected three pictures. Suddenly we get a download button. So the download button does not populate or appear until you select a photo. You can't just click on a photo and open it up and view it. You need to click on this check mark in the upper right hand corner in order for the download button to appear. Once it appears, you can see the three pictures that I've selected. You would click on download. If you want to get all of the photos you've taken, you don't care if they're good, bad, you don't want to sort through them because the photographer will often take three to four different pictures of the same shot to make sure we get a good one. If you just want them all, you'd click this select all visible media and it will select every single picture for you. Keep in mind downloading can take time when you have that many photos. Right now I only have three. We're going to click download. It won't take long because I only have a, a few. It will open up your folder on your hard drive where you can download and save that compressed zipped file. You'll see it right down here where it is saving. Once those pictures are saved, you can open up that zip file. These are the three photos right here. If you want, it, you'll have to extract them. It's a zipped folder which is compressing those pictures to save space. You can extract. You can put where you want to extract them to, extract all, and you can browse where you want to save them on your computer. I'm going to save them right here. Extract. It is placing them right here for me. And there's one of those pictures. So it's saved to my desktop where I can open it. I can view these pictures. They do take a while to load because they are high quality pictures. So there, I've saved my three pictures right there to a folder that I chose. You do have to extract and unzip them like I mentioned. And if you are going to select all of your pictures, again, it's going to take time to download. If you have 500 pictures, it could be downloading for several minutes, 30 minutes, even an hour. So just be sure you're patient and it will bucket those pictures into separate compressed zipped files. So if you have a lot of pictures, you may end up with five of those compressed zipped files. And that's because it's bucketing them kind of together in pockets and it can't put all of them into one folder. There's not enough space. So just know if you have lots of pictures that you'll have multiple folders, but it's very easy to find and do. All you need to do is click on one of these pictures in the upper right hand corner to get the download button to appear. As you can see, if you haven't clicked on a picture, no download button. 
So all you need to do is click on one of these photos or you also have some videos that you get as well. And that will activate the Memory Maker download button to appear. That's the trick. Once you download everything, those pictures are yours to keep. You can save them to one of the popular photo banking sites like Shutterfly, or if you want to print them through your local drugstore or Walmart or whatever photo product you utilize, you can save and do what these pictures, what you want with. There is a release form as well that will be downloaded that lets you print those. So if the drugstore does ask for that release form, you will have that available as well. If you have any questions, we are here to help. PhotoPass is a wonderful product. The Memory Maker is great for capturing all of those memories. So we hope that you purchase it and look back on those memories with your family from your wonderful vacation. Thanks so much.